Hi, this is Shadi and today I want to talk about one of my favorite techniques and that's the Uchimata and particularly Joshiro Maruyama's Uchimata and because it is so aesthetic, it is so fluent and effortless, it's probably one of the most aesthetically pleasing Uchimatas that has ever existed. Even Kosei in a way, uh, Uchimata was different because he was in the minus and plus 100 so he had to do it uh, strongly and dominantly and this is not the case with uh, Joshiro Maruyama. I will be look, taking a look at several examples and uh, try to dissect it and see that how mastering the basics can truly result in beautiful technique as well. The first Uchimata we will be looking at is against Denis Vieru in the Masters in Gangzhou, China. Here we see we can understand the footwork very well. It's clearly a Oikomi Uchimata. Uh, if we look at it again, he stabs deep and replaces it with the other foot that's following and shoots with the other one. Since we can't see um, what he's doing with the hands because uh, Denis Vieru is taller and covering him, uh, we can understand from this one that the footwork is as follows. It's uh, Oikomi Uchimata where you stab in kind of like a normal uh, Uchikomi like one, two and three where one leg steps in and the other follows and the one that steps in shoots. Uh, so he's basically using an Oikomi Uchimata. We can understand it from the footwork against Vieru. To understand the upper body and uh, sleeves and lapel we will look at Uchimata against the Gambolt and I don't know if you noticed this but there was a slight uh, Kuzushi being done here let's look at it again he flares up his elbows and then stabs in so we can kind of start to put the dots together and see that it is a very indeed classic Uchimata there's nothing uh, new being added to it uh, he does the basics very well to the point that it becomes fluent so we can see at first it's an oikomi uchimata from the footwork and second we can see like a kuzushi and then steps in one two and three so it's a basic uh, kuzushi tsukuri kake and the last uchimata is to see that he needs both the sleeve and the lapel here he lets go of the sleeve takes the lapel and shoots in like the other ones here you can see he lets go of the sleeve in his left hand takes the lapel and shoots in immediately so if you kind of think about it it's a very classical uh, Oikomi Uchimata nothing special about it the only thing that's special about it is that he has done it probably a million times that he is doing it so aesthetically pleasing that it looks unique and this is what's uh, interesting about martial arts is that you know we can all do the basics and hone them but when it comes to combat we all have our different expressions and uh, Joshiro Maruyama's expression is truly one of a kind so effortless he just glides yet he does a basic Oikomi Uchimata he just grabs the sleeve and the lapel opens up with a Kuzushi steps in and follows up with the other legs and shoots with the one he stepped in. Very classic and very brilliant at the same time. Um, this is it. I hope you enjoyed this small uh, analysis uh, video. Um, let me know if you have another insight to uh, share. Uh, I've looked at his Uchimatas hundreds of times, but now I see that it is a classic Kuzushi Tsukuri Kake and Oikomi Uchimata, uh, the very basic, but he just happens to master the basics. And the geniuses like him and Hickson, for example, in Jiu-Jitsu, is mastering the basics. That's what makes them so special. If you want me to look at another technique or have insight on this technique, uh, please share it with me. Uh, if there's something I missed, uh, etc. Um, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to see it. Uh, this was Shadi and thank you for listening.